Today I'm making an unexpected journey, not to the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, but the youngest anarchy server, 2B2T France. Now I know what you're thinking, Fit, you've already researched the Japanese anarchy community, why the French one now? Well, it's because this server was actually set up as an experiment by an old friend and 2B2T rival of mine, French YouTuber Fuse Toi. You see, three years ago, Fuse came to the real 2B2T, and the community started a war with his French viewers. This eventually led to him and I dueling at the ruins of my old base. I managed to pull off a win by using a glitched, unbreakable armor set. Without it, things could have gone very differently. But him and I became friends afterwards. He recently started 2B2T France as an experiment, so of course I want to see this place for myself and see how different it is from the real 2B2T. Unlike most clone servers, this one is in the most recent Java version of Minecraft, the Nether update, so I'm going in completely vanilla without using hacks. Will I survive, or will the French players take me to the guillotine? I'm literally risking my neck today, so if you hit that subscribe button, it'll definitely give me some confidence. Okay, let's get this over with. I'm on my main account, so things are going to get very interesting today. And spawn is not loading in. That's already a good sign. And we're stuck in bedrock too. Okay, this is already a good start. I'm liking it. There we go. Everything's loaded in finally. And we already have stone tools. That's different for an anarchy server. But hey, I'll take it in a completely foreign land like this. I'll take all the help I can get. And would you look at that. Barrier blocks. Just blatantly at spawn. So it's clear that the lunatics are running this asylum. But it seems like this is the main gathering area. So I'm just going to try to casually walk past these people. Hopefully they don't recognize me. Yep. I'm just a simple man making his way through a foreign anarchy server, nothing to see here. I think we should be in the clear, but check this out. There's a bedrock staircase just blatantly at spawn here, so in the first 60 seconds, we've already seen barrier blocks and bedrock. It's gonna get crazy today. Looks like we can escape over here, but our first goal is to find food because once this community realizes that I'm here, we're gonna have to be on the move constantly. And since I'm in vanilla, I'm already at a huge disadvantage. We've got some kelp here, all right. It's not the best food in the world, but in a pinch, it'll do just fine. Now we need to actually cook it though. We can't eat it raw. I have never seen this. A frozen ocean completely drained out to the bottom. I mean, there's even floating icebergs. That actually is not good because it tells me someone on the server probably has access to admin commands because there's no way you could drain this entire ocean with sponges alone. Absolutely not. We've got food, but no way to cook it right now. So I'm going to look for either a tree or just a random crafting bench so we can get a furnace going. Oh, -ho, I see one. It's underwater, but I'm guessing that the original builder of it doesn't need it anymore, so we can just take it. No big deal. Looks like we got the ruins of a house here, and they got the green top too, but it just goes to show you, even on French anarchy servers, people make the mistake of building too close to spawn. Looks like we have some actual civilization here. I mean, they've got crops, they've got flowers growing in the garden. This is a pretty nice looking base. I mean, it is partially grief, but the crops are still intact, and that's what we care about. Now, I do have some bones on me, so let's use the bone meal and grow some of this wheat. Because, you know, kelp is alright, but bread would definitely be better in this situation. We have company. And it only took them 15 minutes to track me down, but he seems friendly. Yeah, I'll give him the little crouch. Alright, so far, we're still alive. Maybe he means us no harm, so let's just continue on our way, and hopefully we can stay alive. There's more crops up ahead, which is good for us, but so far, our French comrade seems to be friendly, but you can never let your guard down on anarchy servers. For all we know, he could be revealing our location right now, so we have to be on our toes. But then again, since I'm in vanilla, there's really not a whole lot I can do to protect myself. He wants a screenshot, so I'll give it to him, but it's not like we can say no, you know? If we do say no, he's just gonna kill us. So I'm doing what it takes to survive, even if it means taking a photo with somebody. Oof, the server's having a tough time loading these chunks right now. You see, this is a prime example of why most anarchy servers stay in 1.12 instead of doing the modern versions of Minecraft, because you have all these weird loading issues. Yeah, this is great. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna puke. Looks like we have another visitor, so it's clear that my location is being leaked. Now, the question is, are these people here to protect me or bed trap me? 
We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. More people are showing up, so things are about to get interesting. Let's see, oh, he says, hey. Hello, yes, how are you doing? Please don't murder me. Oh, here comes the E-chest. All right, is it gonna be an end crystal? How are they going to assassinate me? Oh, they're giving me gear, okay. Oh my god. 32k netherite and hacked items? Okay, is there just no illegal items plugging on this server? The lunatics truly are running the asylum if this stuff exists. This man is straight up flashing barrier blocks, so I have a lot of questions. Looks like they want another screenshot. That's all right. Yeah, if you keep me alive, I will take as many screenshots as you want. I mean, I never thought clout would be a survival skill, but here we are. They gave me this hacked potion to try out, so I'm curious what it does. I mean, it's got a lot of weird stats on it. Oh my god. We are going supersonic right now. Yeah, who needs speed hacks when you have one of these bad boys in vanilla? That's pretty awesome. All right, so it's clear someone must have backdoored the server for these items to exist. I mean, how else could you have a potion like this in the Java edition of Minecraft? So I'm really curious how they managed to obtain this stuff. All right, they're typing in English again. Let's see. The insurrection? I'm asking them now, what is the insurrection? It sounds really similar to the term incursion on the original 2B2T. Now, since they want me to join this group, maybe they can tell me more about the server, how these overpowered items were created in the first place, and if my hunch is correct, how someone managed to backdoor 2B2T France. So it turns out that part of Fuse's anarchy experiment was giving all players operator status. So it wasn't backdoored, it was Fuse himself that allowed these items to be created. Eventually, everyone had the status taken away. But somehow, a player named Anaconi, one of the leaders of the insurrection, managed to keep it, and he created many of the 32Ks that we've seen so far. They've been using these powerful weapons to keep the server peaceful. So right now, the group is leading me back to spawn to try out some of these 32Ks, but I've also been informed that the server's community is well aware of my presence and has something planned. So it sounds like we're in for a surprise. They told me to be careful because apparently there's an arrow where if you get hit by it, you just get completely banned from the server and it's because of the levitation effect, I guess. So we have to be extra careful on our way to spawn. Check this out. It's a chunk error. See, this is what happens when you put anarchy servers in 1.16. It just, it has a hard time. The insurrection told me that keep inventory is actually on, so if we die, we're going to keep all of our items, including these 32Ks, so I guess there's not as much of a penalty for dying, but still, we don't want to get spawn camped. Just a bedrock house, nothing out of the ordinary for an anarchy server, I mean, geez, there really is no illegal items plug-in here. Okay, there's definitely no plug-in, you know why? Because right up here is a giant statue of a pterodactyl made completely out of bedrock. Or is that Ridley from Metroid? I don't know. A very cool sight to see, but now we need to get past it, over that giant cobblestone wall, and towards spawn. Climbing over this bedrock wall, is it meant to keep people out or keep people in? Well, regardless, we're over, but now how do we get down? Ah, water bucket. Thank you, comrade. So, we have to MLG water bucket all the way down there. Let's see if I still got it. I mean, I'm in vanilla after all. Let's do this. Alley -oop. Look at that, swan dive, 10 out of 10. Now that is a speed bridge, look at that, holy cow. I mean, I guess with a hack client it's a lot easier. Look at that. So he's paving the way for us. There we go, we're back at spawn now, right where we spawned in in the first place. So now, we're gonna wait around and see what happens. Are people gonna be friendly, or are things about to get crazy? This guy's acting suspicious. Oh, oh no, here it comes. Looks like we've got a spawn killer on our hands. Well, there's only one thing we can do. Fight back. It takes a few seconds for your weapons to load back in. It's like by the time we get them back, we're dead again. So we have to try and sneak up on this guy to take him by surprise. He's distracted right now. Now's our chance to strike. Here we go. Ha! Sesswa, clown. I can do this all day. Not spawn killing anymore, are we? Thanks for the bridge, comrade. All right, let's take this guy out once and for all. Here we go. Oh, thanks for the boost. Got him. 
Things are starting to get crazy around here, but I'm really curious about what this surprise is going to be that the community has planned for me, so I guess we have to wait and see. Woke up today, and sure enough, the entire spawn has been surrounded by barrier blocks. I guess the French community heard that I was here and just decided to take things into their own hands. I mean, we are literally trapped in spawn right now. If you don't have a hack client, there is no way you can escape this. Ah, this always seems to happen, doesn't it? Less than 24 hours after I joined 2B2T France, they've turned spawn into a slaughterhouse. Well... I can't say I'm surprised. This is an anarchy server after all. But I have to say, this was a fun little experiment today. Thank you to Fuse for having me here. And if you enjoyed the video, you better leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on my socials. But that's it. Take it easy, FitFam, and stay alive out there.